making a return visit to the program from uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. I-, I believe that's where you're from, isn't it, Ashley? Oh, it sure is. Okay, born and bred. Uh, Ashley Brown is the community manager and patient liaison director at Strain Print. Ashley, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for having me back, especially on Legalization Eve. Yes. It's, uh, it's you, an important day. It is Legalization Eve, and I, I, I know myself, I've done all my marijuana shopping. <laughs> all my decorations are up. <laughs> and I've made little presents for all my friends. But Ashley, the reason Strain Print has been so successful and is only going to get more successful is the idea that there are so many other aspects to marijuana use that are are not just about getting high, they're about getting well. Yeah, I mean, I think what's happening is we're using information to kind of broaden people's perspective and change the conversation around cannabis. Okay, and how is uh, how has that changed? Well, I mean, being a data and analytics company, not only do we have the users uh, coming together to you know share now over a million points of data about how they use cannabis and what works and what doesn't for them, we also are able to see a need for a broader conversation around that data. So we start with the facts, and, and then we and we bring in the feelings, basically. You know, if you if if some of our listeners have yet to go to the Strain Print website or download the app on Google Play or iTunes, kind of walk us through the experience. Like I, I've often said, you know, if you're suffering from insomnia, there's a strain for that. If you're suffering from joint inflammation, there's a strain for that. So give us a sense of how people are using Strain Print and how the interactivity between the community and the people that are looking to be part of it. How does that all? shake out in terms of analytics? Well, it's a really user-friendly app. So when people are just starting out using cannabis, now they're going to be able to go to the OCS website. They're going to be able to purchase their stuff and they're going to see strain names like, you know, Super Silver Haze or, you know, Purple Train Wreck or what have you. And a bunch of ones that we can't say on air because you have to bleep me, I'm sure. Um, and and that's, a, that's a starting point. So once they have that strain, they may be saying, well, I'm, I'm using it for insomnia. They're able to track that by, you know, monitoring it. The app checks in with you, you know, six to eight hours later, depending on how you sleep. And then you're able to see a pattern over time of how is Purple Train Wreck working for insomnia? Is it the right strain for you? How effective is it at treating that symptom? So not only do you have your personal journey kind of mapped out, you're also kind of playing accountability and educating yourself as to what's working and what's not. Once we have that in place, you're able to see what other people are also using through our explore section. And maybe the next time you log on to the OCS website or visit a storefront, you're going to be able to make a different decision. Because we're all so new at this, having that data in place and being armed with it when you're making your decision stopping now is going to be a really powerful decision tool for people. Ashley Brown, community uh, liaison. Uh, sorry, I you know I shouldn't even try. Community manager and patient liaison. I had it on a different page. You know what it's analogous to? If you're into wine and you go to the LCBO or wherever you buy wine and you've got an app with you that rates wine or pairs wine, let's say you're having fish and you're like looking at the list of wines that go with that, Strain Print is kind of like that when it comes to you know, um, relief and symptoms. and Would that be a fair analogy? I think that's a great analogy. It's Thank kind you. Of like Thank you, personal, Ashley. It's your personal cannabis sommelier, right? That's it. It's allowing you to really dial into what you want to feel, what you want to experience, and, and giving you that option. And we're so excited because today is obviously not only legalization need, but it's a really special day for the Strain Print team. And we feel for all our users and for Canada because we are launching a new uh, a new platform. Well, yeah, why don't you tell us, uh, and in a second, my uh, co-host today, Lou Skeezes, is going to have a question for you, but tell us about today's launch and how that's going to affect uh, marijuana and marijuana users when it comes to strain print. So we are obviously anticipating that with legalization tomorrow, people are going to have more questions than ever, and more people are going to have questions. We really saw a need um, to embrace not only what strains work for people, but allow them to have conversations about what they're using and, and how they're using it. And there didn't really seem to be a space to do that. So knowing we have all these passionate users, 
and knowing how much they like to engage and the process of cannabis being pretty bewildering for people just starting out, even people who are experienced, as you said, that guy that you're meeting on the street corner isn't necessarily going to tell you what terpenes are in this particular bag of dank nugs you're buying. So now people have all this information. They need a space to come together where they can learn, engage, and support each other. Uh, Lou Skeezus, say hi to Ashley Brown. Hi, Ashley. You know, I really uh, like what you're doing, you know, providing an evidence-based outcome for people that are looking for a solution to some condition that, you know, they're not comfortable with, whether it's pain or what have you, sleep deprivation and what have you. So when people register with you, they're able to give their input that will go into your bigger data set. Am I correct? That's right. So they're going to be able to choose um, from any one of 350 conditions or multiple conditions or symptoms that they're treating. And then they're able to submit that data anonymously and contribute to larger things like research studies and also informing decisions on what's grown, how it's grown, and what people are really using for different symptoms. So they're participating. They become the, something that's greater than the sum of its parts. So the uh, trial, uh, you know, if they're going into different kinds of trials to get through the FDA and what have you, that's going to be able to be using your data to help them make decisions on how to go through the trials? We have already seen some peer-reviewed research studies that are using strain print data for that exact reason. Because one of the biggest problems, you know, we have as we legalize is that this is something that hasn't really been studied. So the argument and challenge that a lot of healthcare practitioners have and the general public is that we just don't know. We don't know what we don't know. And in this case, Stringford does know what we do know, and that's that we have a lot of data that's showing some really significant patterns. And we want to be able to inform research and, and work alongside researchers and healthcare practitioners to make those clinical trials happen and to kind of be the jumping off point and the stimulus point for, for getting some of those larger conversations around the science of cannabis going. And that's really the uh, the point I was sort of making with Lou before we got you on the phone is that it's, you know, I, I know it's going to be a lot of giggling and joking around about legalization and, oh, good, we now we can buy weed legally. I think, and you've made this point even better, that, as we go and grow this and it becomes commonplace in Canada, we don't even know the, the various you know, wins out there for people in terms of cannabis. Now that it's legal and you're going to get licensed producers and people like Strain Print you know, expanding the conversation so that as the population aids, ages, we're not using pharmaceutical, you know, based, uh, you know, as we were just joking with Lou before you got on the phone, Ashley, you know, you read a list of side effects, whereas with marijuana, the side effects are just awesome. <laughs> the, the side effects are Doritos. Yes, the side effects are my fingers are covered with cheesies. Uh, Ashley, so once again, today's a big day, the uh, day before legalization. Uh, any final thoughts for people other than just telling them to go to strainprint.ca, get started, and start tracking your symptoms and see which strains and methods are best for you? Yes, please come and join us. And we are opening the doors today to our community as well. So if you're not yet tracking and you're not yet using the app, you're also going to have the opportunity now to have a conversation with thousands of other Canadians and eventually the world around this in our new stream print community. So even if you're just on the tip of starting to use cannabis for wellness or medicine, we have a space for you where you're going to be able to have those conversations with others just like you. Well, listen, uh, we certainly appreciate it. How are things? Uh, now, we've had such a great fall here in Ontario. I know the rest of the country already hates us, but um, <laughs> what, uh, what's Winnipeg been like this fall? That's a very loaded question. I think you just answered it. I think we're all envious of the East. Um, we haven't really had a fall. We fell into winter, basically. So yeah. um, that's not something I'm currently in Toronto because uh, obviously I'm here celebrating with my strain print team. But uh, I'm not necessarily looking forward to going back to what I'm sure is a, a, a premature visit by old men winter. Well, I'll tell you, Ashley, we've had such great weather here in the city. This this is actually the first day I think it's going to be more like the fall temperatures we're used to, kind of like 10 and 11 and 12 degrees. But uh, listen, Winnipeg's a great place. Lovely people. Your uh, evidence of that. My people are from there. 
You know, the last time we talked, Ashley, I mentioned I'd spent my youth going to Clear Lake and hanging out on Pritchard Avenue, so I'm very Winnipeg friendly. <laughs> yes, you, we, we inoculated you. <laughs> That's right. We wooed you with our charms and our rye bread and our golden boy. Exactly. Uh, listen, Ashley, good luck today. Uh, Jessica from Strain Print is going to be with us tomorrow as we have a, a whole morning of marijuana discussion, people, and uh, some licensed producers, and Strain Print is going to be part of that. Thanks, Ashley. Enjoy your day. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day, and happy legalization. Happy legalization. There's Ashley Brown. Wow. There you go.